Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to network theory and in the previous videos we discussed about Kirchhoff's laws, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law and some, uh, some questions related to it. So in the next series of videos we'll be focusing on the same KVL and KCL but it will be on circuits involving dependent sources that is dependent voltage and current sources. All the previous questions they were related to circuits involving independent sources, independent voltage and current sources. So this is the uh, question here, the first question. We have been given a circuit and uh, we have been asked to find these uh, currents I1 and I2 flowing through 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors and this voltage V at this node. So as you can see this circuit it involves this dependent voltage uh, dependent current source voltage dependent current source okay which is dependent on this node voltage. So it is a current source dependent current source and the parameter is this voltage, this node voltage on which it is dependent. So let us redraw the circuit. This is 2 ampere. and this is 6 ohm. Here is uh, the node voltage. So let us use a different ink color so that we can highlight. This is the node voltage. This is the current I2. This is the current I1. Again, here we have to determine I1 and I2. This is the voltage dependent current source and this is the important parameter which on which it is dependent. So here the important thing first is application of KCL at this node. We will apply KCL at node V this. So here if you see at this node all this node is together okay here also the voltage is V okay here also the voltage is V why because these two points are short circuited there is no resistor in between so no voltage drop will be there so these two nodes are the same so if we apply KVL here that is very important to understand because these two points are shorted they are the same point having the same node voltage V so here <coughs> two currents are flowing into the node that is 2 ampere and 4B. So that will be on one side 2 plus 4V and two currents are flowing away from this V node. One is I1, another one is I2. So that will be I1 plus I2. This is the basic KCL equation. Now we have to establish a relationship between V and I1 and I2. We have to express I1 and I2 in terms of V. So here if you see I1 here is this is ground I1 is equal to V minus V ground by 3 ohm. V ground is 0 volt so it will be V by 3 ohm okay that is I1 is equal to V by 3 similarly I2 is equal to V minus V ground by 6 so that was that will be V by 6 so this is equation 2 this is equation 3 so now putting equation 2 and 3 in 1 2 and 3 in 1 we get 
प्लस फोर बी इज इक्वल टू वी बाय सिक्स प्लस वी बाय थ्री ओके और वी बाय थ्री प्लस वी बाय सिक्स दैट इम्प्लाइज हेयर वी बाय थ्री प्लस वी बाय सिक्स माइनस फोर बी इज इक्वल टू टू वी जस्ट ब्रॉट फोर बी ऑन टू द राइट साइड और लेफ्ट साइड ब्रिंगिंग ऑल द वीज ऑन वन साइड ओके सो नाउ इट विल बी टू वी प्लस वी माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर बी दैट इज इक्वल टू टू दैट इम्प्लाइज माइनस ट्वेंटी by 6 3 s is equal to 2 that implies minus 21 b is equal to 12 plus b is equal to minus 12 by 21 that is equal to minus 4 by 7 volt that is equal to v the snored voltage 3 minus 4 yes minus 4 by 7 so that is the value of this node voltage this node voltage here v that is equal to minus 4 by 7 volt next thing which has been asked to find is i1 and i2 i1 is equal to v by 3 capital v by 3 i1 is equal to v by 3 so here it will be minus 4 by 21 ampere that will be i1 i2 is v by 6 i think yes v by 6 i2 is equal to v by 6 that will be equal to minus 4 by 42 that is that will be equal to minus 2 by 21 ampere 2 by 21 ampere that is equal to I two. So here we have got all the parameters that were asked. First, node voltage V, then I one, then I two. So okay. So here basic question here. It's a very simple circuit. Just you should have understanding of Kirchhoff's current law KCL, and then. all you need to do is establish relationship between the parameters that are given in the question and bring it in one form okay one kind of a variable one kind of a coefficient so here we brought all of these equation in terms of capital v the node voltage then we got the node voltage and then from these equations we got the values of i1 and i2 so basic understanding of the circuit laws and Kirchhoff's laws. Okay. Hello, friends. So here we are with another question on KVL and KCL application and circuits involving dependent sources, dependent voltage or current sources. So this is the circuit here, and we have been asked to find the voltage drops V1 and V2 across this 2 ohm resistor and 4 ohm resistor. so here we have this uh, dependent voltage source it is actually a current dependent voltage source where the voltage depends on this current capital i so we have to find v1 and v2 so let us redraw the circuit first okay this and this 6 volt i 2 ohm then minus plus 4 i and this is 4 ohm so here this is the voltage drop v1 this is the voltage drop v2 and this is the current 
dependent voltage source where this current is the important parameter. So, here first we have to establish some important relationships. Here the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor is actually equal to 2 I and the voltage drop across this 4 ohm resistor V2 is equal to 4 I because it is a series circuit the same current flows through them. So, now all we have to do is find the value of this capital I circuit current through application of KVL. So, let us apply KVL in this closed loop. So, when we apply KVL the equation is we are using uh, you can use any uh, type of KVL the first sign dominating or second sign dominating method it is up to you I am using the second sign dominating method. So, it is 6 minus V1 plus 4i minus V2 is equal to 0. Again we have to bring the whole equation in terms of one you know one variable. So, we will bring it in terms of i. So, here we will replace V1 with 2i plus 4i V2 with 4i minus 4i that is equal to 0. 4i 4i gets cancelled. So, we have 6 minus 2i is equal to 0 that implies 2i is equal to 6 that implies i is equal to 3 ampere. So, we have got the value of i. Now, we have got the value of i. So, we will su simply substitute here vi is equal to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 volt v2 is equal to 4 into 3 which is equal to 12 volt. So, we have got the value of V1 and V2. So, this circuit is very simple, it is very you know simple application of KVL with some basic understanding of how dependent sources behave. So, you have to bring all the equations in terms of one parameter establish the relationship between the dependent parameter of the dependent source and other circuit uh, elements and then bring the equation in one form as we did here we brought the entire KVL equation in terms of i and then we got the value of i and then it was just you know simple thing and we got the parameter that was asked here v1 and v2 the voltage drops across 2 ohm and 4 ohm resistors. Okay.